Inspired by competing projects from the U.S. and the Soviet Union, the International Space Station project officially began on January 25, 1984, and ultimately took the collaboration of multiple countries. Because the size of the structure was far too large for it to be launched into space in one piece, the ISS was designed to be built in segments, or modules, that could be assembled in space. The first module, called Zarya and built by Russia, was launched on November 20, 1998. The next module, called Unity, was built by the U.S. and launched on December 4 of the same year. Over time, other components and modules have been added, with the first European and Japanese modules added in 2008. Japan's module, Kibo, is the largest single module on the ISS. Over the years since its initial completion, the ISS has served as an advanced space laboratory, and experiments conducted there have led to major scientific discoveries such as new information about Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. Kimiya Yui, Japan's fifth astronaut, is one of the scientists who has worked on the ISS. Some of his assignments include conducting experiments testing the effects of low gravity and how this might impact the ways we treat age-related diseases. One of these experiments allows us to study the structure of proteins with the goal of developing drugs tailored to treat specific diseases. Another recent experiment by Mr. Yui tested whether bacteria could survive in space by placing some on the solar panels of the space station. Turns out, bacteria can survive in the vacuum of space for years. Not all of the experiments on the ISS are as complex as this, though. One experiment, conducted in 2018, sent seeds to space bringing them back to Earth, and then growing them next to identical seeds that had not been sent to space. The results showed that seeds aren't nearly as affected by space travel as we thought they might be, and that the resulting plants are nearly identical to their Earth-bound counterparts. This discovery means that transporting seeds to another planet, such as Mars, and growing them in labs is very possible. What other studies do you think the ISS might be useful for?